Hello, I am back in a car, but this time it's for a much shorter amount of time. It is, what day is it? Friday, December 22nd, and I have been a very bad elf. I still have so much Christmas shopping and preparations that I need to do, and I am off work today until January 2nd. So I am going to get all of it done today. I'm staying out until I am done. We are getting this thing wrapped up. I know it's so last minute. The stores are going to be nuts, but that's okay. Let's talk about what I have to do. If you are someone receiving a gift, exit out. You don't need to be here. You don't need to see. You can watch this after December 26th. I'll catch you then. Okay, so I have like half gifts for a lot of people. I have half gifts for my mother-in-law, half gifts for my father-in-law. I have full gifts for two of my nephews, which is great news. Um, I need to get more gifts for all of them. I'm gonna get all of my nephews and my niece something small, probably from like Five Below that they can play with um, like in the moment because you know they just love to have toys that they can play with immediately. But I also know that they have so many toys. So I'm gonna look for something for my two youngest um, niece and nephew that is maybe not a toy, but I don't know, we'll see what I end up with. I think I'm gonna go to Sephora for my mother-in-law and then my father-in-law is a mystery. Um, we'll see what I come up with. But I am at Target right now and it is a full big Target. I don't know if they have a Starbucks in here. I don't think they do. But that would really complete this experience for me, even though I'm like not the biggest Starbucks fan, but you know, Starbucks and a Target is just a vibe. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna start here because every year the boys end up coming to Target to get a game for us to play on the night that we do family Christmas. But I'm gonna take care of that ahead of time. So. I'm going to see what games I can find and then I'm just going to bop around and see what other fun things I can get into because you know I love a full-size Target and nothing compares. All right, I'm going to take you along with me and we'll see what happens. They have a Starbucks. I got a iced peppermint mocha with oat milk. So good. Like I said, something about a Target Starbucks just hits different. I didn't come here with the intention to buy something for myself, but I saw these jeans and they're 30% off and I love this detailing right here and they fit so well. And yes, I have them on over my leggings, but I think I'm gonna get them. Aren't they cute? I don't know if it's just my style, if it's changed or if it's this Target or what, but I'm just like not impressed with most of the clothes here the way I used to be. Like, I don't know. That pair of jeans was so cute, but I really can't find anything else that I am like, oh my God, I wanna buy that. I made it to the toy section and I'm having the time of my life. Like, this is just reminding me of when I was a kid and so excited for Christmas. And like, I just wanna buy everything for my niece and my nephews and it's also cute. So story time, my niece's birthday is at the beginning of December and we sent her this beautiful Pottery Barn unicorn stuffed animal and it got lost in the mail. So now I'm looking for a replacement and I could go to Pottery Barn and see if they have it. But Target has this FAO Schwartz unicorn, which I think is cute because it's New York related and it's not exactly the same, but it's, so cute so i think i might get this i don't know they have different colors too so i might get a different one but i think that's a fun replacement right and it means something because it's like a new york based company i think i found the game that i'm gonna get it's called mind the gap it says young and young at heart will have to answer questions about culture and the events that define each generation so i think that'll be fun for the whole family to play like michael's parents all the way down to like us that are borderline Gen Z millennial. So I think I'm done at Target. I'm getting the game, the unicorn. I decided on one. I'm going with the gold. So cute. Those jeans and then I just got a little thing of face wash. But then I'm going to head to an outdoor shopping mall to finish everything else. I am back in the car. Yes, I am parked in the South 40. I I'm not a pro driver, nor am I a pro parker, so here I am. We're gonna do 
a Target haul. Okay, first up, these jeans I talked about. I am so obsessed. Look at the detailing up close. I love how they fold over. They're on sale for $20. I got these in a 10. I usually, at Target, am an 8 or a 10, depends on the fit. They're high rise, but because they fold down a little bit, I got them a size up. That way they're just a little bit more comfortable and aren't too tight. If I'm like wearing them to dinner or something, I don't want them to be standing jeans. Um, so got those. Then I got the unicorn replacement. This is so cute. I just love FAO shorts. I think it's so fun that they sell it at Target. And like I said, I think it'll be special because FAO shorts is a, New York based store and it has a little bit more meaning. So I hope my niece likes this. I still am on the hunt for her for a Christmas gift now, but I have some ideas. I am looking for something Blue's Clues related. I need to find a toy store. That's essentially where I've netted out on that. I got some dental face cleanser because I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is having a meltdown. I got a can of black olives. My mother-in-law called me while I was in there and asked me to pick this up for a charcuterie board tomorrow. And then lastly, I got the game. Mind the gap. I think this is going to be so fun to play for the whole family. And the questions look so fun. Like, I don't know exactly how you play, but some of the questions on the back are, in the Wizard of Oz, what's Dorothy's last name? I honestly don't know. Named Donald Duck's three nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, I think. What movie actress sang Rue Love with Bing Crosby in a 1956 movie? Not a clue. If something was fly, was it levitating, cool, or annoying? In 1997, she became infamous for having an affair with her 13-year-old student. Don't know that one. The fictional town of Capeside, Massachusetts was the setting of this teen drama. I probably should know that, but I don't. It's not One Tree Hill. That was North Carolina. It's not the OC. Capeside, Massachusetts. Degrassi? I don't know. But either way, it's fun. And there's like action ones too. Like this one is called Dance and it says get your team to name, to guess the name of the dance and it's the robot. So I guess you have to like act out the robot and they guess it. But anyway, I think that this will be super fun to play for the whole family um, and keep us entertained on the night that we do family Christmas, which I think is the 26th, 26th or 27th, I can't remember. But anyway, that is the Target haul. I am, I was thinking about popping into Five Below to see if they had any like fun little toys for the kids. But I think that there's a five below at Firewheel too, so I might just go ahead and bop over to Firewheel and finish up everything else there. It's 10.30. I didn't eat breakfast, so I feel like I might get hungry, so I might also stop and like get a snack at Firewheel, but we'll see. I hope this is interesting coming along with me, living my best little suburban life. I have the time of my life in that Target. I said that in a clip, but like I truly had the time of my life shopping on the toy aisle, like pure joy with my little Starbucks drink. I'm gonna figure out how to get to Firewheel. I will check in with you once I'm there. I have made it to Firewheel. I'm gonna park in the Macy's lot and then just walk because again, I don't park. I mean, I do park, but not well. So there's nobody around me, no risk of hitting someone or someone hitting me. I don't think I'm gonna go into Macy's, but I'm just gonna bop around and see what we can find. I am getting a little bit hungry. It's only 10.45, but my body thinks it's 11.45. So, we're gonna get out. We're gonna get into it. Let's go. So, Michael and I haven't gotten gifts for each other yet because clearly we're doing everything very last minute. And we were like, oh, we'll just worry about our Christmas gifts to each other after we get back to New York. But he's really been wanting some new shoes. And since I'm here, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Dick's and just see if they have any that I think he would like and surprise him with them. Isn't that so sweet of me? I'm heading there now. I went into Dillard's to see if they had any, and they quite literally did not have one pair of athletic shoes, which is interesting, but whatever. There are options here, so I'm going to go find them. Dick's was kind of a flop. They didn't have anything that I wanted to get for my father-in-law, 
and I wasn't obsessed with the shoes. I feel like I could find them better priced elsewhere. So I'm gonna get a Foot Locker, I think, because I was looking online and they had some that I liked that were cheaper than they were at Dick's. So that's where we're headed now, but we're still on the mission to find something for my father-in-law. I went into, um, I don't even remember what they're called. Shoe stores, you know the ones, like Finish Line, Foot Locker, and they were all absolute flops. Fortunately, I need to go to Academy and I feel like Academy is gonna be the winner. I just feel it in my bones, but I'm ravenous. It is 11.39. And all I've had to eat today is one piece of bacon and two cups of coffee. So there's an in and out at Firewheel. And I am going to make a beeline for that place because if you know, you know, I love in and out so much. I'm going to run to in and out while I eat. I'm going to plan the rest of my journey. I need to go to Kohl's because they have a Sephora. I need to go to Academy and I need to go to a toy store, but I'm not sure what toy stores exist anymore since Toys R Us kicked the bucket. So we're going to figure it out. I just ate at In-N-Out. I actually went inside. I didn't want to deal with eating in the car. Um, and now I'm going to go to Kohl's and then Academy and a toy store, which we still have to figure out. But right now we're off to Kohl's. Kohl's was actually a success. I found shoes for Michael, but first, what I got at Sephora. Seriously, Kim, if you're watching this, exit out now because you're about to spoil your gift. <laughs> but first up, she said to get her just any of my favorite products. And I spent a lot of time in there thinking about what I wanted to get, but this is a new favorite of mine that I use every single day and truly notice a difference. It's the First Aid Beauty Bounce Boosting Serum with collagen and peptides, and it's really good for sensitive skin. I know for a fact because I have sensitive skin. This is my holy grail lately, and so I got her this. And then I also picked up, for me, um, the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy because I'm out of my Summer Fridays and I wanted to get more Summer Fridays but they didn't have any of the Sephora and this was right next to this so I grabbed this for myself. So now my mother-in-law is done because we have some other stuff for her already that we picked up in New York and I also found shoes for Michael. I am gonna look at Academy just to be sure that there's nothing I like better but I think I really like these and what I like about them is that he can wear them for walks and stuff but I think he could also pair them with jeans for like a more casual but like not athletic look and I think they were on sale I actually really don't know anyway here they are they kind of look like my new balances which obviously I'm obsessed with so I really like this style I like that they're white but they have the black detailing um, they're very structured. Like I said, these are going to be really good for walks, but they're also like, they can be worn with like a casual outfit too. I hope I got the right size. I hope he likes them. He does not know I'm getting these. I don't know if I want to tell him I got them before. I can give these to him on the 26th because we'll still have the 27th and 28th if we need to exchange them for a different size. But here's the other one. I like them. I almost got him a uh, dad new balances, but I feel like he's been there, done that in his fraternity days. So I think these are a good adult version. Um, I'm proud of myself. Now I'm gonna head to Academy. Still need to find a toy store. I'm actually gonna Google that while I'm sitting in the parking lot. So I'll check in with you when I get to Academy. I just actually had a good idea. I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble and see if they have any like fun toys there because I know they have a whole kid section. And I also think it might be fun to find a book for my father-in-law there. Again, we already have something for him that we got in New York, but I just wanna get something else to make his gift a little bit bigger. But Barnes and Noble is where I just was. So I need to drive back across the highway. So see you there. I am done with holiday shopping. I found everything I need. Um, I walked past Five Below on my way to Barnes and Noble and I found these cute weighted ornament pillows and they're like obviously a good size. I feel like the kids will love these so much. They're not too heavy that they won't be able to carry them around, but they're like, they're great. I think they'll have so much fun with these. 
I got them in four different colors, pink for my niece, and then for my nephews, I got them in green, gold, and red. So these are just like a fun little bonus gift. I'm not gonna wrap them. I'll just put them under the tree. And then for my youngest niece and nephew, I mentioned I was on the hunt for Blue's Clues specifically, and I'm convinced that the Bluey and Paw Patrol marketing teams have teamed up to wipe Blue's Clues off the map because nothing exists out there. I finally managed to find some books. Let's see. I got this Blue's Clues and You puzzle book that I think will be really fun. It includes five puzzles. We love that. And then I got this Blue's Clues five minute stories. And then for my nephew, I got him Bluey five minute stories. And then what is this? Bluey, what games should we play? But it's like a flip book. So you can open up the pages, which I think is fun. They're both two. So I think fun little activities like that are great for them. And then for my father-in-law, James, if you're watching this, exit out. James and Michael and Andrew, my brother-in-law, are all obsessed with Texas and follow recruiting very closely. So I got him this book, The Road to Texas, Incredible Twists and Improbable Turns Along the Longhorns Recruiting Trail. I think it came out in 2022, so it's relatively new. And I think it'll just be a fun, interesting, easy, toss away read. So, like I mentioned, I already got something for him back in New York, but that'll round out the gift. And with that, I am done. I left at 9 a.m. It's now almost two. So that's a pretty good day of shopping. I am gonna head home now and maybe I'll wrap this, but I also will have time on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to get this stuff wrapped because they're not coming until the 26th. So, I don't know, maybe I'll till the rest of the day. But I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. I will not be posting another vlog until we're back in New York on Sunday, which I think is maybe New Year's Eve. I'll post on New Year's Eve and that will be a road trip back to New York vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this running errands vlog with me. Um, that's it. I will see you next time. Bye.